five top weight loss hacks for 2019. We're going to be kicking off the year the right way because we all know how we feel come New Year's Day about needing to possibly shed some of that Christmas weight that may have creeped on. And we're usually just ready to kind of get back to it come January. So I thought it would be fun to do five days of my five favorite weight loss hacks. You'll be able to find this on the podcast to download. You'll be able to find it on the YouTube channel, on track to watch the videos. And you can also find the cheat sheet guide off my website at karenmartell.com forward slash hacks. So there's lots of places that you can be finding this and I definitely suggest downloading it and keeping it keeping it right by your side for the next couple of weeks and start possibly implementing some of these that you feel apply or could apply to you and what you're dealing with at this moment. So these are non-dieting weight loss hacks because we obviously all know that we should be eating well and I can provide all that information for you, but as we know, if you've been following me for a while, it usually takes a little bit more than just eating right, eating the paleo, eating the ketogenic diet in order to get those pounds off. Or you may just have hit a weight loss plateau, which is also extremely common, and you might be needing to kind of bust it up a little bit and get your body losing again. So this is what all of these hacks are about. This isn't about cut your calories down, cut your carbs down in order to lose weight or exercise more. These are things that maybe you haven't thought of yet, and I'm going to tell you kind of how to determine whether or not it could be something you're suffering with, the symptoms and signs, and then what you can do about it or what you can take as far as supplements, you know, different interventions, et cetera, et cetera. So let's get started with our number one weight loss hack for 2019, which is change it up ladies. So your body will get used to what you're doing. Now, signs that you need to change it up are you initially lost some weight. Let's say you started eating a ketogenic diet or a paleo-based diet and you know you lost in the beginning, maybe for the first month or a couple of months, even up to six months I've seen, and then suddenly everything comes to a halt. If this is you, you may need to change it up because our bodies get used to what we're doing. And we have this very annoying thing called your fat mass set point, which is our bodies will fight tooth and nail in order to keep at a certain weight. So in the beginning, you can lose weight, but as your body goes along, your body's going to be like, wait a second, we're not supposed to be losing weight. We need to keep homeostasis here inside our bodies because your body on the inside can think that losing weight is actually a threat, especially if you're calorically restricting. Okay, so if you are doing a calorie restricted diet, or maybe you've just naturally slow, you know, cut down on your caloric intake, which is really very common when you're doing a primal-based diet, especially something like ketogenic, because it's very hard to overeat on those foods. People will be intermittent fasting. And basically, in an overall look at, let's say, a week of how much calories you're taking in, it can be drastically lowered, which in the beginning, your body will lose the weight then it gets this, like it smartens up almost. And it says, wait a second, we need to hold on to weight because there's obviously not a lot of food around. So what you want to do is change it up. Now, what most women do when this begins to happen is they, they think they need to cut their calories more. They need to lower their carbs more. They need to exercise more. And that can sometimes be the absolute worst thing that you can do. So what I highly recommend is switching it up 
all the time. Like, do not be doing the same thing every single day, day in and day out, as far as kind of what foods you eat, as far as your caloric intake is, your carb count, your protein count. It is way better to be switching it up. Now, you can do this by the week. You can do it almost on a monthly cycle. People will do it on a yearly cycle and just be, go with kind of seasons, right? So that there's some months that they're going lower calorie or lower carb count, especially for people in the wintertime. I know for myself, it's way easier for me to intermittent fast and to go into a really hardcore kind of ketogenic state when it's in the winter compared to the, the summertime, right? Naturally, we kind of, we, we are drawn to those, you know, the fresh fruits and stuff that we see on the market. So you can, you can decide how you want to do this yourself, but the, the, the main focus here is that you switch it up. So start with even doing weekly where, you know, some days you're fasting. So this is how, you, how it would look in a week. You would maybe do intermittent fasting Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays where you wouldn't eat till noon. And then on those alternate days, you would eat normal calories. You would just not even you know, worry about what you're eating. And then maybe even on one day a week where you would splurge and do a calorie you know, intake that's quite large. So if you're doing a ketogenic diet, you would pick one day a week where you're doing a carb up diet. So that would mean that you're just, you're lowering the fat intake and you're upping those good carbs like sweet potato, fruits, things like that to really just shock the system because you've you know been in an intermittent fasted state, you've been following a lower carb diet, and then you suddenly hit the body with high amount of carbs one day a week. And that keeps the body guessing. I've seen that be, um, be implemented and it really can start the ball rolling again as far as weight loss goes. The other thing you could do is switch how you're eating. I have many of my members and clients that go back and forth from paleo, and this including myself, go from paleo to ketogenic, you know, every couple of months they're switching it up. And you know when your body needs a change because you'll stop losing weight. So then that'll be like, okay, well, I'm going to go back and do paleo. I just had a client the other day say, oh my gosh, you know, I, I had lost weight in the beginning on keto like crazy and then everything stopped for months. And I had suggested for her to go back and do paleo. She did. And she said, oh my gosh, Karen, I'm totally losing now again. So for her, that's all that she needed to do is just switch it up. You can also switch around the foods that you eat. If you, kind of, if you find that you're falling into that, I'm eating the same proteins, I'm eating the same vegetables every day, your body gets used to that, right? So suddenly switch up how much protein you're eating and switch up the carb intake. And it doesn't mean go less. I, I'm saying just make sure that it's different than what you're doing to keep the body guessing and keep the body in a losing state, okay? So change it up. You can also do different, you know, if you find that you're doing the same workout all the time, do something different even with your workouts, like totally switch it up. If you're used to doing a lot of cardio, start lifting super heavy. If you're usually lifting super heavy, start doing more cardio, maybe do more yoga, you know, more hikes, that kind of thing, go skiing. There's lots of different things that you can be doing. Just switch it up so that it just shocks the system again. All right, so that is today's weight loss hack number one.